Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our wrestling simulator, where today the developers have released the highly anticipated World 7. There are 16 new pets, 5 new bosses, and a rocket ship that hopefully we'll figure out where it goes. There's also a new crate and new crate keys, 5 new trails, and pet levels finally give boosts, so we'll be making sure to max out a pet today for that. But there's also 22 more rebirths and 10 more super rebirths, which is crazy because I'm already Super Rebirth level 50, but I guess we gotta go all the way up to 60. But enough of the Super Rebirths. Let's go ahead and showcase World 7. And if I sound a little bit weird today, it's because I'm a little sick. But don't worry, I'm not letting that stop the absolute grind that we're gonna have to put in to reach World 7. But this is the portal right here in the World 6 Void. It says, escape the Void, defeat Cybernetic, and you only need 25 SP wins. Well, we've already beaten the Cybernetic boss, let's see, a whopping 34,000 times. And we have one point. 0.8 in wins, which is way more than you need to escape the void. So we're going to get one last look. I guess we're not going to be spending any more time in this world as we are heading to... Ooh, let's let it all load in. This place is looking crazy. Whoa, there's a... What is this? It's like some purple slime, purple sludge coming out of this drain. We got the eggs. Oh my bro, that egg looks so freaking sick. What else do we got? We will be taking a look at them in a second, uh, but these are all the training methods over here. The VIP punching bag gives a whopping 27,000 strength per punch. The developers did say that the PVP area is going to be disabled as there is going to be a huge PVP revamp or buff coming soon. Also, why is my duck like... I'm glowing, bro. I'm literally, like, glowing yellow. This is insane. Got another pit. I guess this is, might be used in some sort of future update. Not really sure. This is the boss over here. Bro, what? 265.9 SX strength for the very beginning boss? What do you need for the final one? 950 SP. Are you, bro, even with my best arm, the buff tiger... We have a whopping 2.2 SP strength. Bro, I can... This is... What is this guy? I can't even beat the second easiest guy. Are you kidding me? This world is so freaking difficult. We're gonna need to pay attention to all these training methods because we're definitely gonna be needing to use them. Oh my gosh, I need 48.6 QI strength for this. Okay, we picked up this barbell and we're getting like 208 QA per curl, which I think makes these dumbbells a little bit better over here. But bro, how do I get 48.6 QI strength? How much do the hand grippers give? Oh wait, we can see the bottom plus. 258,000 per rep and then the best dumbbell gives plus 177,000 so it does look like hand grippers are going to be slightly better at least at the start i don't know how much better they're going to be compared to this bar right here because apparently this does 1 million strength per tap which would be four times better than these grippers well wait what is this over here the slimeify unlock soon what what is this we get a new machine but it's not unlocked yet let me walk so we can walk around it it looks like it's using this purple sludge purple goop from down here at the bottom of the world to, I guess, slimify the pet. It's not unlocked, and the developers, I believe, did say that in order to unlock this, as a whole, we're gonna have to defeat, like, millions and millions of bosses. So maybe we'll get an update soon on that and just how we'll be able to unlock that machine. But let's go over here and see the Rocket Rider. How many wins do I get per defeat? Okay, so at a base, we get plus 25 SP wins, but because I have the double boost potion, and the double wins game pass on we're getting 100 sp wins but let's see with my maxed out winner winner five team how many are we getting in now might be kind of insane wow 1.7 octillion wins every time we defeat this guy so that's way better than anything you'll be able to get in world six but let's see just just make it sure this guy's 3.2 sp strength even with the op auto click game pass we stand no chance against the missile maven bro you're kidding this is actually so hard dude this world is so tough to beat i'm gonna have to do so much grinding here okay let's go see these eggs 125 octillion wins okay let's put on oh no dude i don't have my my luck team it's all on different account yeah let me go find all my luck pets transfer them back to this account so we can go open some eggs really quickly all right we got the luck team back so let's go ahead and slap it on and open up what is this the cyberpunk egg over here so there's a 50 percent chance 30 20 0.1 and 0.001. We get a neon miner. And this has a 552,000 boost. Pretty solid. But what is the cog? Can we get the cog one? Bro, I'm burning through wins here. Please. Dude, I'm literally using up all my wins. Okay, we're going to go to this egg instead. 
Ooh, the Darkness Owl. There we go. What is this? This is a 500. It's basically the same thing. A 527,000 boost. And I'm assuming the Blazing Penguin is probably around 300,000. Now, we don't even have enough wins to open up the Deep Sea Egg. But I have heard that this egg right here, the rocket egg with the giant rocket, with I believe which is one in a million odds, it has a max multiplier of 75 million, one to turn it into a ghost, huge Goliath, you guys know the drill. So it's about 10% better than the ghost haunted pumpkins, but it looks like it's gonna be an absolutely grind in order to get them. And again, I only have one in wins left over. We, we can open up a few more of these, and see dude like i'm literally not even getting the point one and i have the best luck team in the entire game i have luck potions this update dude this world is so hard this is gonna be such an insane grind we just use all of our wins and we didn't even get the top two eggs from the second best egg in world seven which i just hope goes to show that yeah this is gonna be one crazy crazy update but one thing i haven't shown is the brand new crates and the brand new arms which i want to see what are the odds of getting it so Oh, it doesn't even look like there's an updated key drop odds yet, which is pretty unfortunate. Uh, I, I'm assuming you will be able to grind for these. It costs 50 QA for 100 crates. And in order to buy crate keys, how much is it for 10 keys? Oh my gosh. You know, well, you know we'll, we'll buy a few of these because they are really, really expensive. But I'm assuming you are able to get them from defeating bosses in World 7. But they just haven't updated the odds. I'm assuming it's going to be like, a, you know, one in a thousand to get these. Because these arms are insane. If we go ahead and take a look right here. The best arm without even being golden is a 1.1k buff platinum. So if you're able to get this and turn it into a gold, that is over a 1,600% boost. Even the platinum, this is a 1,500% boost. And it's a one in 1,000 odds of even getting the base one. The buff chrono, 827. And for comparison, if we go to the diamond crate, I right now have the buff tiger arm. If you go and we see, it is a 1,125% boost for it being a golden buff tiger arm. And so it looks like the 5% buff chrono would be around a 1,200% boost, which would be really good. Actually, like a 1,250. And the chrono is a 100% buff chrome, a 750. Chrome is 650. So the worst arm you can get from this entire crate is 600%. Absolutely bonkers. We're going to go ahead and buy, you know, we'll just buy a ton. We have like a bajillion wins compared to how many crates we actually need to open. So let's go and open two of these. The first one, what are we going to get? That's not bad, but not great. Really need to get the 5% arm here. Please, please, please. No, the, or the chrome arm, 25%. I mean, we can go and try. We're actually, it's the same. The buff chrome is the exact same as the buff tiger. So there's really no point in me even trying to turn this golden because it would be as good as an arm as we already have. But you know what? We have just enough Robux to squeeze out 10 of these platinum keys. And I, I really don't think this is a great investment because over time, I'm sure I would get enough keys to open up. Ooh, there it is. A chrono arm 10%. That's slightly better than the buff tiger that we have right now if we're able to get a golden. But I think, yeah, just grind for these. Don't do what I'm buying. Uh, if you're really new to the game, honestly, spending 100 Robux, getting a crate key, getting a crate could be kind of worth it depending on your status in the game and depending how many arms you already have. But for someone like myself, oh, another one, another chrono arm. We might be able to get ourselves a gold chrono arm. Let's see what we're going to get. What is this one? This is the buff chrome arm. So honestly, pretty good odds so far. We've, we've had pretty good luck with this. Another 15%. I mean, if we get the one in 1,000, that would just be so insane. But then again, I'd have to risk it to get it. Oh, oh my God, dude, so close. I think we will be able to get a gold chrono arm because we already have three of those, which gives us a 60% chance to get the, what would that be? Yeah, 1,200% arm. So it's a little bit better, like 75% better. Ooh, the buff chrono arm, 5%. We have one more platinum uh, crate. What are we going to get? And we're going to get another buff chrono arm so all in all pretty good like i can't even complain let's go into the golden machine over in the space gym go to the arms and we have okay three of these so we have a 60 percent chance to get a 12 hundred percent boost if you want to give me a little bit extra luck go ahead and drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already because every time you guys seem to do that i get super good luck so three two one boom Oh, no, dude, it didn't work. Okay, this this one for sure. This would be like a 1,250% boost on the count of three. One, two, three. Dude, no. Okay, well, at least we can get a buff chrome arm. There's no way. Yeah, I was gonna say, that one has to work. 
but again it is the exact same as our buff tiger arm it literally makes no difference <gasps> wait but it doesn't make my body huge look at this dude this arm it's like, it, it, I never wear my arms because I think it makes my duck look like really stupid. But if I put on the buff chrome, it's normal. I mean, the, the, the right arm is a little big, but it's, it's normal, guys. I can run around with my proper arm strength and not look like an idiot. Let's go. All right, I'm actually happy I got all those, uh, those crate keys then. So I think the last thing to showcase, we showcase the new pets, the new bosses. Oh, the rockets. So yeah, they, the developers were teasing that in about a month and a half, or six weeks from now that this rocket it's going somewhere uh the reason this is the world seven is you know there's a big rocket ship and the best egg over here is what is the rocket egg they're all leading this up for some big huge massive event in about six weeks so it could be a new world it could be a new live event uh six weeks that'd be right around the time for christmas so we this could be some christmas live event we really don't know that's just what the developers were teasing earlier today in the call where they're talking about the update oh the new trails please do i have enough win for these oh my gosh 5.3 in wins so my current trail is plus 325 percent this is plus 385 so we can go wait we can't even get this okay so we can get the arctic trail and this gives us a 45 percent boost so wow we went from 2.2 to 2.5 sp strength that's huge that's a really really big help but of course the best trail will give me an extra 30 percent boost but it's 5.3 in wins absolutely insane oh yeah pet levels now give boosts so i want to see we have been grinding we have a ton of godly bones so let's just go take one of these haunted pumpkins. We're going to unequip all. We're only going to equip one of these uh, pumpkins because if you guys don't know, the pet XP is equally distributed among all of the pets you currently have equipped. So where did it even go? Okay, this ghost haunted pumpkin right here is going to be the one we level up. It's only level one with a 666 million boost right now. We're going to go apply. You know, let's just put on all of our godly bones. There's no reason for us to not smack on all the bones that we have let's see though dude i keep losing i don't know where it is oh here it is oh my gosh it has a 73 milli multiplier already with 20 levels we just gained like 6 million stats worth of boost that is insane wait can we get this to 100 million how does this work i mean we literally have 3,000 snacks i can apply this would take ages but I just want to see with the godly bones, how much do we have on this account? Because I know some of my other accounts have a ridiculous amount of snacks. Okay, let's go ahead and check. 82 million. Oh my gosh. Level 49. This just gave it a 17 million multiplier buff or about a 25% increase from being level 50. I think I said 89. I meant 80, 83 million. So I guess if you get a max level pet, it increases the total strength by 50%. So 50% of 66 million, that would mean if we get this to level 100, it'll be a 100 million stat boost pet. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're just going to go and spam all of the snacks on our pet real quick. Wow, 87 million now, bro. This is insane. Okay, looks like we're kind of struggling to get some more levels on our Haunted Pumpkin, but still 91 million boost. And with my full team of best friend sixes, this now means that I have a maximum of 4.1 billion stats because of this new update i'm gonna have to transfer this pumpkin around to small accounts to make sure it hits max level because again this is a grind and we ran a little low on snacks we still have some but this is only around 13,000 xp and enough for like i don't know five levels or so but still a huge 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 dub so if you guys have any snacks make sure you apply them to your best pet on your team and again there is more rebirths and i i know i'm gonna have to do super rebirth and i will be super rebirthing and maxing all these out again i just I have so much strength, 2.5 SP. I don't want to lose it because that's going to be a sad, sad day when I have to grind all the way back up to rolled seven again and again and again. But bro, 3.7 SP total recommended is absolutely insane. We can try it again. It I don't think no we're not making any progress it's not gonna happen so that's gonna be one of my main goals is making sure that i'm able to beat every single one of these bosses in world seven because i really want to know how many wins this doctor propulsion gives you because it has to be something insane if the best egg in this game 
is 30 in, then he has to give you like, what, 10 in wins or something crazy for beating him? I hope so, at least. Well, listen, guys, this update, once again, I've said this a million times, but it is a grind. So make sure you go ahead and hop on. See if you can't get some new crate keys. Go snag yourself a new trail. And of course, level up all of your pets because it makes them super, super OP. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.